as if I'm not depressed enough as it is, 8.47 in the evening. It's still the 30th of October, 2033. Weaver, John Searos, my California. Just how depressed am I? I'm depressed enough. I'm hearing people online bitching and griping about, oh, politics. They think they know politics. They don't know shit from Shanella. Then I hear from the other stuff, from their programs, zeros and ones. Thank you very much, marketing algorithms of YouTube and Google. They follow me like crazy. I'll say something about Charlie Kirk and his mouth somewhere else. Being reiterated and replayed out. And I'm thinking, why the hell am I watching this asshole in the first place? Fuck. Bad enough I had to keep my stuff clean enough when I'm talking about my own viewpoints and my own observations concerning about things, including Halloween. Excuse me one quick second here. I'm not putting it on pause just yet. before I start panicking and freaking out and having a conniption fits and then everything else going to hell in a hen basket. Uh, so now I can deal with Halloween on my own terms. I kept thinking about what the hell was I trying to celebrate Halloween for in the first place or something to do for Halloween. Was it for them? Yeah, it was for them. What about my beef? What about me? Yeah. Wear the Star Trek shirt for a short time and afterwards take the damn thing off and just learn how to breathe. Things happening this month already. Shootings and a war going on. And then the repercussions afterwards. It's like, how the hell am I not supposed to be able to deal with this shit? And to tell you the truth, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be dealing with this shit. I don't. They got a lot of Halloween crap on online right now for people to indulge with. And people to go crazy with. I'm sick to my stomach on this crap. But then again, it was scarfing out a hell of a lot of cheeseburgers. Not the ones I fixed, but the ones I got at McDonald's. I might not have to do that myself again. Because I damn near killed myself in this damn shit. That's what I damn near did. And I couldn't deal with it. My stomach still can't deal with it. <clears throat> it's getting worse that... I'm getting more and more dry mouth. I canceled out an appointment with a doctor for tomorrow. I should have kept it. I'm going through this too damn much. Either that or the air outside or inside has become more and more drier than usual that I have to require myself to drink this stuff. But then again, I was also outside going through this. Going through a lot of water. And not much on the Gatorade either. Just on hydration. Yeah, it's got me worried. Why well, am my body trying to break down or, or something? And I'll go to the doctor's office and say, Well, John, I wish you could have come over to us hours and days and so much time ago. You're dying. I think that would really scare the living fuck out of me at this point. Maybe there'll be some kind of relief out of it. Or try to force me to bust ass even harder. Rush, 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 rush. Of course, I'll be looking for heaven on this one and trying to ask questions on this. All right, free will. Screwed myself up on this one. Now what do I do? 
But I'll probably get the indication saying, nothing, John. You're fucked up. It's time to come home. Great. That's all I need to be depressed about this whole damn shit. Drive myself crazy over this. And what do I do about my dog? I worry about things like this. I'm worried about my own dog. Whether or not she's going to be living or not. Even if I don't happen to pass class. Even if I don't happen to get through college. At least I can tell myself one thing. I did it. I may not have passed the damn thing, but I've, I've done what I could. I've done what I could. And there's no reason. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'd taken two classes at a time to kick ass on this damn thing. And it's, you know, I can feel proud about that one. Incomplete, but proud. At least I did something. Now, I don't know. It seems like I'm setting myself up for failure. It seems like I'm setting myself up to die. And I'm the guy who was afraid of it. I think what would really get to me at that point, if I started thinking, or actually started experiencing visitations, I haven't had any. I haven't had any, and I haven't talked to anybody about it. I haven't seen, heard, felt anything, nothing. So what am I supposed to do about it? They say a lot of me. All I know is I'm doing what I got to be doing right now as it is. And that is, struggle, survive, live. So what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I just want to sleep my life away in a bed. Despite the fact my back's killing me, I haven't got the damn mattress changed yet. I'm wasting away the money like crazy on food. And that's kind of stupid on my part. It is. It literally is. So now what? Tell me all both know.